I'm Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. Welcome to my channel. Now today I have um, a sewing make to show you and it's all about cloning. Um, every month I'm going to clone one of my um, favorite things and this month I made something I desperately needed. So um, school for my son is about three kilometers away, about two miles and um, the times he gets in and out of school have nothing to do with the times hubby goes to work and back they just there's just no <laughs> no way so we decided we needed the exercise it's lovely weather and so we just bike every day i go with him and come back maybe in the future when he's more confident riding with traffic he'll do it by himself but for now we're just both comfortable doing it together <laughs> you know so um I really really needed comfy shorts um, this might not be the most fabulous fantastic make you've ever seen me do but it's very necessary <laughs> so I grabbed um, the only pair of knit shorts I have and I actually bought them here in a shop they're just made out of black knit jersey good quality thick good recovery very comfortable and I thought I want a pair exactly like that but with um, a fabric I brought from Bolivia so it was like a jersey that looks like denim but it's very stretchy and very comfortable and I've already made my son a pair of shorts using the same fabric so um, yeah that is my cloning make I hope you can't hear any any grass cutting around because that's usually what's happening here. Um, my ne neighbors are very very careful with their gardens and they like them perfect and there's always someone cutting grass so if you hear anything I hope you can't hear it. <laughs> so I have already shown um, a video where I cloned a pair of shorts but they were actually woven fabric. So if you want to go and see that, uh, the method is pretty much the same. It's just that I'm using knit fabric now. So slight differences, but pretty much the same. If you want to go and see that one and then come back and watch that one so that the process is like really ingrained, <laughs> uh, then you can just go ahead and clone your own. So um, have a look at all the process where I show the cloning and where I am sewing them and then I'll be right back. So I've carefully traced the front bit there by folding the shorts really carefully the front part of the pants is really easy and I take my tape measure and I always stretch out that waistband because it has an elastic so I want to know what it really measures ungathered so I'm making a marking there it's 25 centimeters in this case and then I'm grabbing my trusty pin and I'm going to pin all the way on the top of that front waistband I'm going to stretch out that uh, top part there and then keep pinning all the way down that front crotch making holes you know every two centimeters or so until I get to that little point there. There I place the pin and I actually mark it on the other side of the fabric and then I keep pinning down until I reach the bottom. Then I get rid of the shorts, put them to the side and there'll be tiny tiny holes on the fab on the pattern paper that you can't see but I can so I go ahead and trace all those little holes until I have the shape that is exactly like the pants then the the back is always a bit more challenging um, I fold them really well and I use the side seam on the edge of the paper so I don't have to mark that and then the back part of the waistband is easier to trace because it's just a straight line basically so I don't bother with the pins there I can do it directly um, then I go ahead and stretch that back part of the waistband again and use my pins and start pinning, pinning all the way down that back crotch. So the back pants are always wider than the front and there's always going to be some that are tucked in underneath of what you folded. But I still make a marking of where my pants reach up to there. Then I turn them around and measure how much I have to keep going. Uh, in this case, it's three centimeters. Um, in other pants, it's more. I mean, these are just neat pants, so it's not much different. Um, so then I add on that extra three centimeters all along that inseam, and I measure all the way around uh, until I have my full pattern piece. So I do my new line there, and then I grab my marker, and I do the proper markings all the way to where I have my little pin marks, the little holes on my, on my paper. 
So now I take my shorts and confirm that the crotch length is the same. I don't want it to be shorter or longer, so I carefully compare it with my pants and it's all good. I added four centimeters on the top of the waist to have that fold over place there for my elastic. Now, here on the inseam of the back, I'm adding an extra two centimeters because my inseams weren't matching. And that is normal. That is normal for pants. They don't have like a straight line at the bottom. So I'm confirming that my side seams match. I want everything to match before I make the garment. So that's all good and I'm just adding on the bottom there. Now these are adjustments I make after doing the pattern. After cloning it, I just make everything's going to true up. And um, yeah, just confirming everything's good. So then I can go ahead and cut it out. Um, now the waist always is not a straight line as well. If you put your side seams together, they match. But the waist always looks really different. So the front waist always is lower. It goes in lower at the middle. And that's the way your body is. So don't think you've made a mistake. Uh, the crotch length um, is different. Uh, the back crotch length is always longer than the front for obvious reasons. Um, we have that extra space there to accommodate our bottoms. So that is good. I've managed to replicate that. And um, if you look at the original shorts I've copied, you can see clearly see that slant towards the middle about four centimeter difference from the back to the front usually so now i'm just sewing the side seams this is just the easy part sewing shorts is so easy especially have <laughs> these that just have elastics and no pockets or nothing like that quickly passing it through the overlocker my overlocker is so fast i'm going to use a quarter inch foot and a contrasting violet thread to do some top stitching on the side seams so with this foot it goes really really fast and i don't even have to think and it just turns out straight and perfect um, now to do the second layer of the top stitching the one that goes right next to the seam i just do it i just do it by hand and it's fine um, then i put right sides together and sew the back crotch and the front crotch together you see I use a lot of pins and I go taking them out as, as I sew along. I don't sew over the pins or put them horizontally. Then I match up the inseams and sew those. Of course I've already overlocked my uh, other two pieces that I've already sewn there and I've already um, top stitched. I didn't show that. <laughs> so then we do the inseam overlocking and then I overlock the bottoms for the hem and the waist uh, so that's all ready to roll i'm using 35 millimeter elastic um, and the length i'm using is 75 centimeters small, much smaller than my waist and still comfortable you know you have to measure yourself what's comfy i quarter this elastic uh, so i mark the quarters with a marker and then i'm going to go ahead and match those quarters with the quarters on my shorts so i'm going to just pin it four times around and have the elastic inside the pants. Then as I'm passing the overlocker, I stretch out the elastic on the bottom to match my markings. And then I'm gonna be ready to fold that under and sew it. So I'm using my metal plate there as a guide to sew three centimeters and I'm doing it very slowly. I'm stretching it out as I go. Um, I don't wanna rush this part. I want it to look really nice and tidy and then I am done. That is all. Here they are for me to show you them. They look exactly like the pair I showed you. I made in March for my son. They were made exactly the same. The only difference is the top stitching thread. I have used a violet color and for his I use the typical tan color that you top stitch in. So it's just very, very basic. I didn't show the hemming on the video because that's just, you know, that's <laughs> very basic. But um, yeah, I'm very excited. These pieces that are the basic, solid, boring ones, they're just so needed in anyone's wardrobe. And I, I really needed it, so why wouldn't I make it? So I'm gonna go put these on and then walk to the back there so you can see how they fit. So as you can see, the shorts hit me um, a bit like an inch above the knee, which is the length I like shorts to be. You know, I'm just comfortable at that length. Uh, I can move, I can pedal, I can even run in these. But then when you look at them, they just look like denim shorts. <laughs> but 
but they're really really comfortable so um, I've paired it here with this uh, little peplum top that I made last year um, I can dress these shorts up and down I've, worn, I've got them with heels you know <laughs> so <laughs> I can wear these with running shoes or I can dress them up or down whatever uh, so I'm really happy with this and it's one of my satisfying makes because I made them and I started wearing them in that same day and then every day <laughs> I've got to make more so I'm planning a few more of these I think I need about two or three more so I can be happy with my short collection for bike riding because that won't stop that will continue for months and months on end <laughs> So as always, I have some pictures of me in these shorts. Some of them are action pictures. Um, yeah, you, you'll see what I mean. Have a look at them. Anyway, I'll see you next on Friday where I'm going to show you my commercial pattern I've made for the month and uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that one. Um, yeah, you, you, you'll wait and see when I put that up there. <laughs> Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, sh share, all those things. Uh, I'm happy that you're here sharing all my sewing things and commenting and just I'm so far away, I'm so secluded from anyone sewing in my real life, personal life. I just really love interacting with all of you that follow me along. Bye, happy sewing!